GMS Intercession Prayer Network for Children. You are in the right place. In this channel, we pray for our children, our family, and everything bothering on children or bringing. You are welcome. Today, our topic is receiving a sound mind. I repeat, receiving a sound mind. Yes, parents, you can actually help the children, your children to receive a sound mind. But before I go on, I would love us to pray. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, we glorify you. We honor you and we reverence you, God. Thank you for today. Thank you for this topic. Thank you for everything that you are doing and that you have done with us and our children in the name of Jesus. So, Father, Lord, we pray that our children will receive a sound mind like your word says in the Bible and we lay claim to it in Jesus' name. That no scattered thoughts, nothing of evil will come to them or will possess them in the name of Jesus. Father, your word, according to the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 23 that says that may he or she be renewed in their mind and then your book in first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 16 also says that and I have the mind of Christ we lay claim to this in the name of Jesus amen thank you your child's mind be very aware of that whether through the TV or whatever they see I tell you let me give you an instance I went shopping with my children after work one of these days and then went into the superstore and the lady that came right in front of them was a half naked half naked in front and half naked at the back and then i had my kids turn to look like every other person there and trust me what i did in the name of jesus to our hearing i curse you every spirit of distraction and of unsound mind in the name of jesus i didn't waste time there was no pretending about it listen you're gonna leave the children you're not gonna be there and guess what they will remember it will ring in their head so that when they are watching a tv program that you're not that which will not always be there listen your voice will awaken the spirit of god inside of them i curse you in the name of jesus i come against you the spirit of destruction of a sound mind i speak to you son i speak to you daughter you will align with what god has created you to be in the name of jesus and if anything that wants to distract you i curse it in the name of jesus and everybody there at the counter said amen this is what they wanted to say but nobody could say it because yes it was a free word and everybody can come out naked as i speak to you really her pubic hair was showing and the crack on her butt was also showing my children couldn't have but torn i mean just to look you know but these are the things that your children watch these are the things that they see you know what i mean and then what do you do as parents you just keep quiet and think that everything is okay no you rebuke it you speak to it in their presence let them begin to know what happens in your home and what you don't want and what you want and now it's a norm now everybody can go naked on the street no the children must receive a sound mind even what they watch a tv program my own husband is just you know preaching or oh, pg it has to be pg even 13 i have to sit with the children to watch that is because there's so many things that you need to direct your children don't just leave it you know for i mean to whatever and so they can watch it because they are 13 i mean because they say pg-13 pg-13 in america is not pg-13 now the things that those children do oh my goodness that is allowed there is not allowed here we have a culture we have a culture no matter how exposed your parents wake up from your slumber and stop throwing caution to the wind our children must receive a sound mind so that when they see things that are wrong they can close their eyes or begin to speak against it yes 
God will help us in Jesus name. Parenting is deliberate. I tell you deliberate. Nobody is perfect, but it's deliberate up to the extent that what they say matters, what they see matters, what they hear matters. When you're there, make it a habit that you are in control of it so that when you are not there, they know what to do. May God help us in Jesus name. Now we will take some Bible verses to support this. Romans 12 2. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Another one is Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart your mind through christ jesus that's philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 and also second corinthians chapter 10 4 to 5 for the weapons of our warfare are not Canal, but are mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. A friend of mine was talking to me about a 10 or 11 year old telling the mom that was taking a call, Mom, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Because I have told you, you talk too much. And guess what? The mother didn't say anything. God forbid. Now that child is going to grow up, parents. And be who? How will you as a mother have a say in his marriage when there's a misunderstanding? You have just lost it. Parents, parenting is deliberate. We will make conscious effort by the grace of God to take care of that, that treasure our children that he has given us. May God help us. Now, let me take the final Bible verse, which is Romans chapter 8, verse 6. It says, To be carnally minded is death, and to be spiritually minded is life and peace. God will give us life and peace. Thank you for joining us again today. God will bless you and strengthen you in your parenting endeavor. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Please, if this video has touched you in any way or you think someone will benefit from it, share, like, and subscribe. God bless you. Amen. Bye.